Okay, for Windows Vista, we have to browse to the AViver program file. We're going to go to the Start menu, Computer, and click on your C drive, Program Files, the AViver program folder, Antivirus Desktop, and we're going to go down and search for avnotify.execute. Right click on that, go to Properties. Click on the Security tab, click on Edit, and then for every user in here, click on the user and put a check mark here under Read and Execute, Deny, and hit Apply. Then do that for every user, put the check mark in here for Read and Execute, hit Apply. It will automatically put a check mark under Read. And you go to the next user, put a check mark under Read and Execute. To deny, hit apply, and OK. And click OK, close the program folder, and you won't get that pop up in Vista anymore. With XP Pro, go to your start menu, run, type in SECPOL.MSC, click OK. Click on Software Restriction Policies, go to Action, choose New Software Restriction Policy, right click on Additional Rules, go to New Path Rule, and under here you browse to your C drive, Program Folders, Avira, Antivirus Desktop, go down and find AV Notify, dot execute, and click OK. And make sure the security level is set to disallow. Then hit Apply and OK, and close your security policy. Okay, we're going to restart and we're going to go into safe mode. And start tapping F8 as soon as it comes up. Select safe mode. Click on your operating system. You can click on the administrator account. Tell it yes, you want to proceed in safe mode. Okay, we're going to go to your start menu, right click my computer, and go to explore. Click on your C drive or local disk, program files, Avira, and Avira's desktop, and search down in here for AV Notify right click on that and go to properties. You're going to click on the security tab, advanced, and look under the permissions for a listing of all the system users. Go to edit. Put a check mark on Traverse folder and execute file. Deny it. Click OK. Go to the next user. Deny. Now it says everyone and every user has the deny label now. 
So do that to every user. Click OK. Click Yes. Click OK. Close your browser. And restart the computer.